week 16 bump video. I am in my 16th week of pregnancy, pregnancy, still in the second trimester, so things are moving along. Um, this week, baby is the size of an avocado, so that's pretty big. Last week, it was the size of an apple, but it was kind of hard to gauge what the exact size was because apples come, can be small and apples can be really big. So that was a little, little confusing, but an avocado, that's pretty big. So baby is definitely growing. This week, baby's legs are growing longer. Um, and so it's gonna be, the legs will end up being longer than the arms. And then um, baby can also start to hear. So like the bones and the ear, are starting to work and so now baby can hear me so I read a lot of things that said if you have a particular lullaby that you want to sing to baby um, if you sing often enough there's a good chance that after baby's born it will recognize the tune so I thought that was really cool maybe I should try that out Anthony and I went to um, back to see our parents this weekend and we were definitely listening to some music but it probably wouldn't wasn't the best music for the baby. <laughs> so I definitely have to start doing some um, lullaby music. I told Anthony, you know, baby can start to hear you now. Do you want to talk to baby? And he's always like, no. <laughs> I'm like, baby won't hear, won't recognize your voice. And he was like, baby won't recognize me either way. He just like doesn't believe it. So, but baby can hear me talk. So I guess that's all that matters. As far as symptoms go this week, my biggest symptom is heartburn. Um, I used to get it just at night or right before I went to bed as I would lay down. I think like me being in that vertical position um, caused it and now I've started to realize that I, I get heartburn more often. Like if I uh, eat, you know, something really greasy then um, I tend to get heartburn. So that's been happening a bit more. Um, it's not that big of a deal though. I take Tums and it goes away fast. I like Tums and it's easy. Again, I think I'm doing much better with the heartburn because I just keep comparing it to the nausea that I used to have. And I'm like, bring on the heartburn. I'd rather take that any day over nausea. So <laughs> um, that's been a big thing. I'm still de dealing with a little bit of acne. I'm definitely more tired at night. Um, and I go to bed, you know, at 10 and there's Felix. That's who I have been, um, petting as you saw my arm moving earlier. He always has to be in my videos. My boobs have definitely gotten bigger. Um, they feel bigger. I definitely think I'm going to have to move up a bra size pretty soon. My belly has gotten bigger as well. Like you can definitely tell there is a baby bump there now. I keep asking Anthony, you know, what is it? Does it look more like I'm pregnant? Or more like I'm chubby and he always tells me mm, somewhere in between <laughs> so at least he's honest but I'm still kind of trying to wear baggy or clothing just because I don't want people to just make the wrong assumption but definitely getting more of a baby bump I have not felt any movements yet um, it's kind of hard because everybody keeps asking me like oh have you been feeling anything even my doctor asked me and I don't think that I have. I really don't know what to expect though. Obviously I've never been pregnant before so I don't know like what it feels like when a baby moves. Like I've heard butterflies in your stomach, popcorn popping, gas bubbles. I mean I'm sure once it happens I'll know but right now I am like is that it? Is that it? I don't know. So that's been kind of um, confusing a little bit. Even though I do have a baby bump, I have not moved into um, maternity clothes yet, just yet. I can still wear my regular pants, thank goodness, um, and my shirts are doing fine too, but now that I have noticed this bump grow, I definitely think it's only a matter of time before I move on to maternity pants at least. So. I'm sure I'll have to go shopping for that soon. At night, I have noticed um, I sleep with my pregnancy pillow. I got a Snoogle, which is like a C-shaped pillow. Um, they had it at Babies R Us. And so in the beginning, I didn't really care for it because I'm not used to sleeping with a body pillow. Um, and so it was kind of more of like a hassle and not much of a help. But recently, I've started to really like it, just the support it, it helps me with. And also I've noticed that if I don't have a pillow between my legs at night when I sleep, I wake up and my hips really hurt. So that was something new and 
something that I love my pregnancy pillow for. I have been going to the bathroom a lot more often, a lot more often than usual, and a lot of times what will happen is I'll get woke up in the middle of the night, I have to go to the bathroom, and then I go to the bathroom and I come back to bed, and I can't go back to sleep. <laughs> so. I don't know if I can't go back to sleep because, like, it's just a side effect of pregnancy and you just have mom insomnia, or if it's I go to bed so early that I, by the time I get up in the morning to go to the bathroom, like, I'm already awake and I've slept enough. I'm not really sure. I feel like my stomach has been getting hairier. I'm not sure if that's just me and, like, in my head or if it's really happening. I don't even know if that's, like, a common symptom of pregnancy, but I have been noticing it. I don't know, it's just something I wanted to mention. Food cravings, um, I really haven't had any food cravings. I'm really wanting them to happen. I just, I wanna know what it's like to like really want something so bad that like you have to get right then and there or vice versa. Um, the other day I was craving homemade mac and cheese really bad. I could go for that right now, honestly. Um, still really liking lemonade. Watermelon I still really like, but now that it's fall, almost winter, uh, it's out of season, so I haven't had it in a while. Still craving sweets, cookies, chocolate chip cookies. I could go for some of those right now. Food aversions. I am still having aversions to chicken. I refuse to even touch chicken. Um, steak, I refuse to touch that. Broccoli, still. I haven't really had any new adversions though. Uh, so this week, since it was week 16, it was the big week, I had my next doctor's appointment. Uh, I have them every four weeks. My last one was at 12 weeks, and so the next one I had was when I was 16 weeks. Um, Anthony couldn't make it to that appointment. It was too early in the day and he couldn't take off work. And honestly, I was glad that he didn't come because he would have been bored. <laughs> it was, this appointment was almost the exact same as the last appointment. I went in and they took me back. They weighed me, which is really interesting because I weigh myself here about three times a week. Um, I try to do it every other day. I weigh myself naked, so when I've been weighing myself, I've been constantly underweight. Three pounds, two pounds, one pound. The last time I weighed myself last week, I was down one pound from my starting pregnancy weight. When I go to the doctor's office, I'm not naked and I'm wearing clothes, and I must just keep putting on more clothes every time I go because I keep gaining weight according to the doctor's office. So it's very different what they're seeing compared to what I'm seeing. So I definitely commented on that to my doctor. I said, I'm worried about my weight. I know to your records, it looks like I'm getting weight, but I'm telling you, I'm weighing myself naked and I am down a pound. And she was like, actually, you're doing just fine. We like girls to stay around their pre-pregnancy weight um, up to 20 weeks and then you can start gaining a lot. She's like, usually I have to tell people to like cool it on the McDonald's and start like losing weight. So that made me feel good because I was really worried about not gaining weight. Sidestep from the doctor's appointment, another kind of symptom that I've been dealing with is not so much nausea, but it's like when dinner time rolls around, I do not want to eat. So I'll wake up in the morning and breakfast comes and I'll be hungry.